Good evening ladies and gents and I've been up this before but not with this phone it's much better technology and the zoom in should be great. We'll be going up the monument in a minute. I didn't know whether to choose the tower because of the gunpowder plotter links but I've done the tower already but you will see that. So I thought why not do the monument and we'll look out over to what Guy Fawkes and the rest of the plotters wanted to blow up. So welcome to the first of our gunpowder plot two-day special hope you're going to enjoy this one um, I've done most of my filming already so you've got a good couple of churches the church of St Edward the King and the Martyr St Edmund sorry the King and the Martyr the church of St Mary Lebeau old bow bells anyone born within the sound of those is a cockney um, this one and a little other, a few other little bits and pieces but yeah this one I'm just waiting for it to get dark finishing off a smoke and then I'll be going inside this one so yeah join me inside for a tour at the monument it's a really good one I enjoy this and the views I've done it in the day but never at night or when it's got dark so the views should be excellent take care all see you in a minute before we go in I just remember this is a Robert Hook Hook and Wren worked together on this one and they were both into their astronomy and they had a telescope up the top I I think it was a Zenith telescope, I could be wrong. But that, my ladies and gents, is where we're going to be going now. So, in we go, I shall get us to the door. It's got the, um, I've taken pictures and everything of this before, so it's mainly for the evening views. So, I'm going to go in before it gets too dark because I want to catch it just as it turns. So, right, join me inside. Right, guys and girls, we are in, and it is a pretty I'll just climb up to the top of this one, but there we are. I will give you views up and down the stairs every now and then. That is where we are headed. Right up there. This monument, for anyone that doesn't know, was built to commemorate the Great Fire of London. The top of the monument. Uh, golden flames of a phoenix rising from the flames. And luckily we have these little windows here. What I call style out windows. Where you can stand and style it out. I'm getting some views. We're not very high up at the moment. Already I'm out of breath. Luckily we've got pause buttons. So if it gets too bad. <laughs> And unfortunately, unlike St Paul's, there isn't a way in and a way out, so it's very narrow. So if you're clinically obese, be careful. Jesus. I'm glad I'm not the only one that's out of breath there. Yeah, you can just see Tower Bridge. A bit blurry, but there we are. <laughs> Church of St Magnus the Martyr.
Still a fraud way to go. No, you can just see, you can just see the edge of Tower Bridge, but I can see it a little bit better because the, the glare thing. If you've got a large bag or a rucksack or anything with you, you have to leave it at the bottom in the luggage hold because it's so narrow here. top so I can feel the cool air. see Tower Bridge there but can't really get it on this just there oh, that's it. oh it's nice to get some air there's a little garden there on the roof it's gonna pause you guys and girls right I've caught the roof so <coughs> Get the last climb done. I don't know what these metal things are on the wall here, but they're very old. So, oh, we're at the top. Oh, that was a waste of time stopping there, wasn't it? It's because it's got this bit here that you can't access. And that's where the telescope used to be up there. All right, my little popkins. Now you see what I mean about the gorgeous panoramic views.
getting some pictures as well. <laughs> and you're going to like this one. Old St Paul's. Pretty as a sudden day. Bow. I'm just going to pause you a minute while I do my jacket up and put my hat on. It's cold up here. That's better, isn't it? It's some warm now. Not the view of me, I didn't mean. But yeah, you get some nice sunset types of views from up here. This way, or I'll go around the other way actually. Get back out. Sorry about the cage, but that is there to prevent people from jumping off. And a little tribute to our war heroes. And that's Poppy. There we are. I was going to go back to the tower to do some of my um, gunpowder plot filming, or the rest of my gunpowder plot filming, rather, I should say. But went there the other day and done part of it, which isn't Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes is the usual culprit, who everyone knows. And we're looking at the tower right there. That's the White Tower, the oldest part of the Tower of London. So yeah, I thought I'd come up here instead. <coughs> something a little different and obviously gives a gorgeous evening views of London and in a minute we'll be looking out onto what Guy Fawkes and his cronies tried to blow up taking pictures as I go so do excuse me while I do that alright let's go back in a minute and I can give you a better view of down there. I can see my bag, I think. Well, I hope I can anyways. But yeah, up through here is where Hook and Wren used to go, where the telescope was. But unfortunately, the public aren't allowed up there. And there is, oh, there it is. Some graffiti. 1792, which is RD. That's 1794, then you've got THD, ID, 1792, 1792 and 1794, and there's some over there. So graffiti and that is no new thing, Londoners have been up to that for many, many years. Anyway, back out here, onto our lovely marble platform. Catch a nice sunset now. Well, the sun is setting in the island. London Dock Hospital down there. <clears throat> this is the Church of St Magnus the Martyr. That was burned in the fire as well. This will be about half an hour thereabouts, maybe a little bit over. Won't be no longer than 35. 
because I can't share them on Facebook because it mutes me after 35 minutes. But... Where the wheel is over there, ladies and gents. You can't see it now because of all the tall buildings, but that is where the Houses of Parliament is. And that is what Guy Fawkes and all his cronies tried to blow up. So, the first of our, shall we say, gunpowder night specials actually relating to the gunpowder night is going to be a man who isn't Guy Fawkes or Catesby, who are the two best known ones. He's going to be one of the lesser known plotters. So I hope you'll enjoy that. That'll be hitting the page later on. <clears throat> I don't bloody say I don't ever bring you anywhere. The BT Tower. St Paul's is lovely in day and night. I'm getting some snapshots. I may go around and do some separate ones as I finish. But we'll see. Yeah, it's a long way down anyways. And interestingly enough, if this was to fall over, it was designed and created in such a way and at such a height that if it was to fall, its top, its pinnacle, would land right at the very doorstep of Thomas Farriner, where the Great Fire of London began. So, yeah, there's a little bit of London history for you. Right, we're going to rest here and rest our resting bitch faces for a moment, catch our breaths, and just take in this lovely view. church is done that's never bloody open so I'm pleased with that. St Mary Le Beau that got done. Um, a few other bits and bobs. Oranges and lemons at the bells of St Clements and all that, all that jazz. Sorry about the sniffing I'm not a cocaine fiend I've just got a runny nose and it's really cold up here. to the distance to Crystal Palace and be way beyond over the chalk hills and towards Kent and Sussex my favourite places but we'll rest our resting bitch faces here a moment and watch this Oh, this is waving around this thing. That will dock in at the tower.
at which we are looking now, middle of the screen more or less, a little bit towards the bottom. You've got the White Tower, then over to the left you've got Canary Wharf and all that. Gosh, it's cold up here. What I'll do then probably is um, once I finish with this one, I'll end it. There's no point filming it on all the way back down again. You've seen it, haven't you? And the inside, I've shown you that. So <laughs> then I can take some nice pictures. Because when you're filming, Rob said to me, although you can photograph while you're filming, the picture quality will never turn out as good as if you're just taking a picture. So that was something new I learned. colourful stripe there that's going across the screen is London Bridge. No it's not, I'm a liar, I beg your pardon completely, it's not London Bridge, London Bridge is over here this way. I beg your pardon. Now over here, which was one of my recent explorers, HMS Belfast. I enjoyed doing that one. I will be going back to that one at some point because there's so much to do. Um, a young lad called Ben, he was absolutely, uh, totally knowledgeable with everything he knew about the ship. His knowledge was levels were great, it really was. Yeah, and he, to he told us loads and loads about the ship, it was great. Definitely go back and do that one again. hospital as I said. God my hands are freezing up here. Another one of the bridges going across the Thames. You've got Southwark Bridge and you've got the Millennium Bridge which was known as the Wobbly Bridge which literally did wobble around had to be closed for a while wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people remember. Yeah, we'll be coming to the end of it in a minute. I'll probably get us to about 30, 35 minutes. Should we have a nosy into a London office and see what's going on? Not very much. And there's a couple of workers. Hi! Too much on them. Zooming quality is good on this, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll have a little walk around. But above us is that golden pinnacle that I told you about. Oh, it's as cold as a nun's womb up here. Ooh. Cold as a ground's nostril if you used to be more delicate about the matter. I'll check the picture quality when I end this video anyway. If it's no good, then I'll just go around and take some more pictures. Oh, Jesus, it's cold up here. Let's get, oh, that's better. And get sort of out the wind. The only trouble is it's hard to get out the wind here because it's round. So it damn well blows round it. Originally, when this was built, it only had a balustrade on it like this, no wire cage. And uh, quite a lot of people threw themselves off, and the first people to throw themselves off, tragically and interestingly enough, were the uh, first few people who'd lost everything to the Great Fire of London. Bells of St Magnus the Martyr. I was going to say it's later than four o'clock. Surely, let me check my watch. Beg your pardon a minute. It's five o'clock. Not put their clock back, have they? Shame on them. 
Shame on St. Magnus the Martyr Church for not doing so. Shame on them. And you can see the lovely Thames through there. I'll probably do about a 30 minute on this one. There's no need to do 35, is there? You guys and girls have seen it all. And the sun is setting now. What are we? Yeah, about 24 minutes. So yeah, I'll do about 30. Mass and Gramble. As the old girls all used to say. Swiftly followed by a complete and utter cacophony of grumbling. Usually, that's what they used to do. Anyone that remembers the old EastEnders, quite funny, weren't they? That was one of their ones, mass and grumble, and then they'd grumble. Or another one of theirs, and I love this one, something, a ball, anything, even remotely round or spherical, travels within a foot of them, particularly their head or face, that's normally followed by, wow, oh, look how I could have had me fucking eye out. Another favourite is at a party. They say something that they know is incredibly offensive, that will offend people. Say it, offend people. When everyone's offended, they say, Ah, oh, I didn't mean nothing by it. And last but not least, my particular favourite is, they see this person in the street, 364 days of the year. I fucking hate him, can't stand him, or uh, really hate their guts, wish they were dead, all that kind of thing, you know. Sees them at New Year at a party. Ah, oh, I love you, you're one of my own. You know. Well, isn't that pretty? That's it. I'm trying to get it. So that's it. Bastard wire. Look. That's the way. And the little ant people walking around doing their, their business. Whatever they're doing. Wonder what they're running away from or what they're running to. Right guys and girls and that you've seen pretty much everything haven't you? I'll give you a once more round. Zoom. My fingers are so cold, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Sorry. Zoom. Zoom right out to its... This setting ain't that great to film on, but it gets more in. But the quality is better when you zoom into one, whatever one does. That's just what Rob told me to, and it, it does work, so... I'll show you what I mean. See what I mean, how much better it is. The quality's fine. It's a lovely evening. It's more over here to catch my two or three favourite things for you. St Paul's. Pretty as Southern Bow. The crazy thing is, I've got a love-hate relationship with the Shard. I hate it in the daytime, but at night time, I'm rather fond of it. But I'm not going to call it Purdy as a Southern Belle, though. It, it, it hasn't charmed me that much yet. Yeah, over here is our third favourite object. Two of them, anyway. We've got Tower Bridge. I'll be doing that one again soon because there's a museum and everything on that. Some terrific views from there. Did that ages ago and I, f I think when I first started the page. And it's fairly cheap to get in. Tower of London, which is my possible favourite London location. Right. I hope you all found that barbarically interesting. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Thanks very much for watching, guys and girls.